This is mutation number 235. Fire in the hole with Zeratul. And we're not gonna cheese this one because he can clear really quickly. So we're gonna do it this way. Without cheese, we're just gonna patrol, run circles around the boombots. While Zeratul and some Void Templar clear, clear the map. So we're gonna start off by making the the artifact trap. I keep forgetting that the the spot is like right here. So it, if you block this spot, it will not work. So you have to like go around it. Anyways, start off with the usual stuff. Don't need to destroy my nexus because we're not cheesing this one. So 20 workers, okay. Then when this is done, core forge the cyber core and then um, um, robo dark shrine, void shrine. And a cannon, because we want to start shooting down some missiles. Shield guards, because why not start shooting down those missiles as well. And then... the um, So I put this on hotkey too, and the bot is coming. So we're gonna use this spot and this spot as the um, trap spots. So here you can see I am bringing them slowly over here, and then roll. A pentagon or hexagon five or six spots okay and then take the thing I'm also I also sent a probe to the right side and then put another probe here ready got to kill all these guys so that they don't disturb me okay and then we go around start clearing this next area then clear the uh, destroy the, the detectors and once the detectors are destroyed right click the buildings but so here um, Alright, so I got both of them following me, and then make sure that they don't, um, they don't, uh, hit the boom bot. Okay, so gonna make another pentagon around the bot, and then block the trap, finish the trap off here. Now, um, kill that, and then all the, de the detectors in that area are gone. Each area only has like two, and one area has three, so it's really easy actually. And then just right click. Next one, since it's coming from the right side, it's um, good for us. So then I'm just gonna add it to the trap on the right side. If it comes down the middle, I will have to make a third one. So I hope, so I pretty much hope that they don't come down the middle. They either go to the left or to the right, but we're gonna clear from the left and then clear the detector and just go away. One overlord there, overseer, and clear, go away. DTs now. Um, so I have a third DT, and then we're gonna add them here. All right, here there's a spore crawler and an overseer. Kill those two, and then we're good to go. And then now it's time to get the um, next artifact. I was gonna hit get that, but I, I missed. The next bot is here, trap him. Get the artifact. I'm not getting the other avatar, I'm getting the blue one because if you devolve some units, they might start walking towards the base and they might walk into the probes and that can cause some trouble. So I decided not to do that. All right, I think this guy is going, um, going to the left because he saw some of my cannons there. No, no, he's going down the center. So saw the projections, so he's going down the middle, which is why I sent another probe to intercept it, and then continue clearing. There are two more detectors, and now all the detectors are gone. So I just know that the next wave comes at 11.30, and then the one after that is at uh, 13. So we just have to make sure we clear all those by then. I thought I can clear, but it's like, no, I don't think I can. Not that fast. So, let's add him to the to the trap. Right click, and then I think, I, I looked at the time and I thought, there's no way I can make it. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to wait till the 13 minute one spawns. They're going to spawn from the top right, and then we kill those. And then, I need to have, uh something here, so I'm gonna summon the avatar for some map presence, or like ship presence, and then legion to kill the attack wave. And then the DTs, just 
three more. And then building's done. Oh, um, something happened. I don't remember, I remember exactly, but then uh, the probe died. So I had to uh, bring my dude another probe and then rebuild, remake the trap. This was odd because, oh, wait, no. Cause I thought at this point, I thought I had full cleared. I thought I had full cleared, and you'll see in a bit that that wasn't the case. So here, three of them trap them, and I don't want both of them there. I just want one of them there. And I'm now making lots of shield guards because I need shield guards to defend against nukes. And then I almost lost the dude here because of the escort wave, which would have been terrible. And I saw there's a building here. How come there are no boombots spawning from that one? And then maybe it's because it's only one building, but they spawn they, uh, two bots spawn. So my prediction is that um, they don't spawn because there's only one building and they needed two to spawn. That's my guess. But anyways, so it's basically now standard missile command with some obstacles in the way. And uh, just gonna expand, continue making shield guards. Probably can add abrogators later. The DTs have finished their job, so I'm just gonna... They're just gonna be around here and they're gonna... Lap some infested. Now I can like one hit kill the, the ships, the, the drop ships, and then whatever drops here, it doesn't matter, they're gonna die. Just project stuff, make more cannons, pretty much do this for the rest of the game. And then pay attention to nukes just in case they come from different, from odd angles. But for the most part, we should be okay. Shield guards deal so much damage now that we'll be fine against the nukes. Alright. And then put the war prism in position so that Zerato can get back to the action quickly. Make more cannons. And here we go. Kill all these. Make more cannons. I decided, okay, let's trigger the ship. <laughs> we should get finished, try to finish this as quickly as possible would be helpful. And I decided <clears throat> I need some shield guards at the natural to stop this nuke. And just as I saw that, oh, the shield guards just made it a little bit late. And I saw this trail coming south, so I'm like, I have to intercept this because they're going to kill all my stuff. Let's remake the guys at the natural. And I saw, oh my gosh, I'm losing stuff here. So let's move and block, body block with my buildings and my avatar. And then like a few seconds left, so okay. It's dead. DTs, if they die, they die. And uh, at this point, remember, like, I need to lure this group away from where the escort wave, the claimer wave, will uh, drop their units. Because <coughs> if they drop their units on top of my probe, my probe's gonna die. So as long as I'm out of their way, which I am now, I will be fine. So here, continue to build stuff, and then now I have some abrogators. <coughs> abrogators can can do some work. <clears throat> Their AOE will be helpful here. And then the void the void array can also provide some extra defense. So abrogators probably should have added some shield guards, which I didn't for this one. Should have, as you'll see later. So I for this one, I want to make sure that the claimer wave goes towards the ship I'm at now. Because <clears throat> if I set it off now, it will go to the other ship, which is the one to the right at 1 o'clock, or around like right here, 1230 is whatever this area. So I want to make sure that I don't do that. So here I'm paying attention, making sure that they don't drop on top. Nope, they don't. So I come here, spin, and then one hit kill all these guys. We're good. And the attack wave comes from the right. Okay. Just put cannons down, or... Um, Reject some cannons, spin, all those guys die, die. Alright. And now continue making more cannons. So 
here, this one. Oh, and then look, the, the nuke targeted a projection, which is unfortunate. So I should have known that, but uh, I didn't expect that to happen. Unfortunately, it did, and then lost some aggregators. But one made it alive, so I'll keep it around. Swipe these, all those guys are dead. I don't deal quite enough damage to kill the science vessels in one shot, but it's alright. They don't they can't irradiate my stuff. And then for the last wave, just be ready for it. So use up my money. And I decided I can add some field guards this time. I think it'll be helpful. But <clears throat> you'll see why adding shield guards maybe wasn't the best idea or... Yeah, but we have 11 fragments and pretty much uh, can't die. So uh, with less than a minute left, I can use my Legion and then Avatar. And then, oh, I got nuked. And oh, I got nuked again. Fine. So 55 seconds, I'll just use my other Avatar and just hang out. Zeratol, let's see. Zerato is so strong that he can't die. He does so much damage now. <laughs> 12 armor. 11 shields. Alright. So there we have it.